What's up? It's the Doc here, coming at you with another video. In this one, we're talking about consistency. If you're someone who has struggled being consistent and wants to be more consistent, this video is for you. This is another video brought to you by Dr. Prakash Mator. Let it be known that he is not a doctor. This is simply an avatar for the business. Again, not a doctor. Enjoy the video. All right, and we're back. So let's dive into this. We're gonna go from the 10% mindset to the 1% mindset. That is the goal of this video. So explaining that quickly and then get into these three other points that will transition you into that. 10% mindset is basically someone who does 10% of the work every 10 days, right? So like studying 10 hours every 10 days. Instead of the 1% mindset, which is 1% every single day, or like studying one hour every single day. So you're like, yeah, maybe it would be okay to like do a bunch of work every X amount of days. Yeah, but think about how hard it is to get started, right? A lot of people struggle with starting. So the idea here is by showing up every single day, you get this exponential growth versus doing it every so often, which is really difficult to start, and then you're cramming. And to hit home with this example, I wanna talk about video games, because a lot of people here play video games. And that's the idea, is like if you play video games every single day, you're probably gonna be a lot better than somebody who plays every, every 10 days or like on the weekends kind of thing, right? And the last example with this is the penny example, which many of you may have heard of. Basically the idea is if you double a penny every single day, you end up with a million dollars after 30 days, okay? So that's the idea, is there's exponential growth by showing up every single day instead of every 10 days or whatever the length of time is. Okay, so the next example here is fast versus slow, okay? And basically it's like, if you procrastinate, you end up doing your work really fast in a short amount of time, okay? Versus going slow and doing it one hour every single day or so on. Um, you end up being more consistent, you don't have to cram, you don't miss things, right? So when you're going really fast, you're really hyper-focused. So say you do that, you stay up all night, pull an all-nighter, get this assignment done, hand it in, and then the next day, you totally forgot you had a quiz because you're so tired and you're hyper-focused. Okay, so the idea here is slow is smooth, smooth is fast. If you, if you go fast, you end up missing things. And to hit this home even more is the example of the tortoise and the hare. Okay, many of you have heard the story. It's a long distance race. The hare, obviously really fast, takes off. He's way ahead of the tortoise. Decides it's gonna have a little snack, eat some carrots, take a nap. But the tortoise, 1%, Consistent pace ends up passing the hare as it's taking the snooze. And then the hare wakes up and it's all flustered. It's like, oh no, and just like starts to run as fast as it can. And then like just about catches up to the tortoise, but the tortoise ends up winning the race. Why? Because the tortoise was consistent. That is the point of the story. Okay, the next one here is a little bit of research, scientific knowledge, showing that the more you practice something, the connections in your brain become faster. And it can like push through the information, push through more information and at a faster speed. Okay, and I'll link that below so you can check it out if you actually want to. But I just want to give the example of 4G versus 5G because that's kind of where we are right now in 2020. And some speeds for those of you who might understand it is that 4G averages about 20 megabits per second, while 5G averages about 200 megabits per second. Okay, so that's a 10x growth. And also the lag goes from 10 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. So if you don't understand any of that, just think of any time you've been watching videos or done video chats, any streaming, just imagine it 10 times better, okay? So you can do this with your brain. That is what the 1% mindset achieves because you keep doing it. So studying becomes easier, doing your assignments become easier, life in general becomes easier because you're showing up every day and it's not, like there's just less resistance, it's just faster. Okay, now the last point is here about that being consistent and showing up every single day sucks, okay? So we just need to understand and accept that it's gonna suck and there will be suffering. And this comes from Buddhism, basically that they understand that there is suffering and they accept that there will be suffering. So accepting it instead of trying to avoid it to the very last minute and then making it like extremely painful and extremely stressful, just embracing that it's gonna happen, there will be suffering, today's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna show up today and I'm gonna show up every single day avoids that like super extreme suffering. So I hope you've been able to see that going from the 10% mindset to the 1% mindset is very beneficial and you will become way more consistent. Dr. Procrastinator would like to thank you for watching this video. If you received any value from this video, please like and subscribe to the channel.